welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I'm going to prom guys. <laughs> I actually didn't get to go to my own prom. We call them formals over here so I didn't get to go to my own because I don't know I just wasn't feeling it at the time and like I never got invited to anybody else's so I am a prom virgin. I've never been to a prom. But I mean, if anybody is keen to invite a 26 year old to your prom, I'm your girl. <laughs> Anyways, I did have a lot of fun sitting down and creating this look for you guys. You totally don't have to wear this to just a prom. You could wear this to any formal occasion, to a wedding, to the grocery store. I'm not even gonna stop you. Like if you wanna wear it to the grocery store, if you wanna wear it to McDonald's, go ahead. So yeah, I'm gonna get onto the tutorial now, but before I do, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video I post. So with all that being said, let's get on to the tutorial. So first things first, I'm going to prime my lids with the NYX eyeshadow base in Skin Tone. This whole time I've been calling it nude, but it's actually called Skin Tone. I'm just going to be using the Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush to apply this all over my lids. As you can see, it totally like cancels out all discoloration that I've got going on and gives me a really nice smooth clean canvas to work with. Next up I'm just going to be using some of the Australis Ready Set Go finishing powder in True Translucent to set that base in place. Alrighty so now that all that base is set I'm going to start applying some shadows to my lids. For this look I'm going to be using the Tarte Let In Bloom eyeshadow palette. Like just look at the packaging. Amazing. So for my first crease shade I'm going to be taking this one right here. This is called Smarty Pants and I'll be using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush to apply that to my crease. So I'm pretty much just working this into the crease from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner, running it back and forth in windscreen wiper motions. I'm also just slightly going to bring it down a little and create a sort of like tapered cat eye on that outer corner. So now that that crease shade is down, the next shade I'm going to be taking is Rebel and I'll be applying this in pretty much the exact same spot in my crease again but I'm not going to bring it as high as I did with that Smarty Pants shade. So yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty much doing the same motion, just running it back and forth. This is just really going to deepen up the crease and add that definition that we want. I'm also making sure that I really bring these shades all the way to the inner corner because I will be doing kind of like a glitter cut crease, like you'll see what I mean when I go in with my glitter. I just want to make sure that there is shadow on that inner corner. So now that those crease shades are nicely blended in, I'm going to go ahead and apply some shadow to the outer third of my eyes. I'll be using this shade right here called Activist. So I'm just taking it and applying it to the outer third from the lash line up to the crease, just kind of blending it as I apply it. You also want to make sure that you are going back in with the blending brush that you used earlier. Whatever shadow is left on the brush is totally fine. And you just want to make sure that you're continuously blending because we are working with such a dark shade on the outer corner of our eyes. It is a little bit easy for that to kind of take over the look. So you want to make sure that you're blending at this top edge right here so that it doesn't look so harsh and stuck. I'm just going to take this shade right here called Flower Child and I'm going to just use that to kind of blend um, this edge a little bit so it's not so intense just to kind of help everything blend together a little more I do like to take a lighter shade and just blend at that edge now it's time for the exciting part I'm going to be applying some glitter and I'm going to be using this bad boy right here this is one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows for this look I'm going to be using Kitten Karma and I'm so excited so pretty much these are really easy to use guys and I feel like they are perfect for those of you who are going to prom or any type of formal occasion because they're so easy to apply. So as you guys can see, it does have a dope applicator and pretty much what I'm going to do is just apply this on my lid, starting from the inner corner. I'm just going to start patting it on 
and just sweep it on through. Look how easy that is to apply, guys. Pretty much what I'm doing is running that up to the crease to the point where I want it to be cut. And then I'm just going to kind of feather it out on this edge, leading into the darker color. Since it is still a little bit wet, because these do apply wet and they do then dry, of course, I'm just taking that same brush I used to apply the dark color and just kind of working at that edge so it doesn't look so harsh because the glitter is pretty but we don't want it to look so like, you know, harsh and straight. We kind of want it to be a little bit more blended. This is honestly probably my favorite part of the tutorial is applying the glitter because I just love this product. Like I feel like it's iconic, like actually. So I've kind of let that glitter dry for a little bit and now I'm going to apply some liquid liner. I'll be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. So I'm pretty much just going to be lining my eyes and giving myself a bit of a wing. So I just gave my lashes a quick curl and now I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. I'm just going to be applying a really light coating because I'm going to go in with some falsies, of course. The lashes I'm going to be using for this look are from House of Lashes in the style Boudoir. And I absolutely love these because they're really full in the middle and they kind of taper out on each side but they're really long and fluffy and I just love them. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna get started on my face. I will finish off the eyes a little bit later, but I'm going to be applying primer. I'll be using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Really love this primer because it totally like smooths out the skin and just gives me like a really nice smooth base, which who doesn't want a smooth base? Plus, it feels really nice to apply. For foundation, I'm just gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is actually really good for prom makeup because it has no SPF in it and it's really full coverage. I actually did do a couple of girls' makeup um, for their formals and I actually used this foundation on both of them. So, I've just applied some little dots on my face and now I'm just gonna blend that out with my dampened beauty blender. You want to make sure you get your ears and on that jawline. Alrighty, so foundation is on and now I'm going to do a teensy bit of color correcting. I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen in Bright Forecast. This one does have a bit of a peachy undertone to it, which is awesome because it is really going to help minimize the look of dark circles and Pretty sure you guys don't want to be going to prom looking like you've had no sleep. So I'm just using a concealer buffer brush to work this in and blend it out. And as you guys can see, instant brightening effect. For concealer, I'm just going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I love this stuff. I actually use this quite a lot. I'm nearly out, but I do have a backup somewhere. If you guys are wondering, the shade that I use is NC20. And basically what I do is pump it out onto one of my fingers and then press them together. And then go in and just apply like so. I like to put it in a bit of like a triangle formation underneath my eyes. So I kind of bring it up, blending it out as I go. And then we're done. <laughs> Just kidding. So whatever's left on my fingers, I then go ahead and run it down the bridge of my nose just to kind of like brighten it up a little bit. And then I do go above my brows and then the last little bit can go on my chin. So to blend this out, I'm just using another one of those concealer buffer brushes. I like to start on this middle section of my face because that's where the least amount of product is. And then I'll go ahead and blend out underneath my eyes. So you could totally use a beauty blender, but for maximum coverage, I do like to use a brush like this. And I kind of just go in with like adding stippling motions and it just eventually blends all out. Before that even has the chance to even think about creasing on me, I'm just going to apply some translucent powder. I'm especially focusing it on this inner corner here where I have the most fine lines going on and this is just really going to prevent it from creasing throughout the night. I'm also just going to run a little bit of that powder down the bridge of my nose above my brows and on my chin pretty much where I applied the concealer and since I haven't actually set the rest of my face I'm just going to be taking the Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder just taking a little bit of that on a fluffy powder brush and just patting that on all the other areas of my face. Don't forget to get underneath your jaw as well because 
You don't want that stuff to wear away. <laughs> and you also want to make sure that you wipe off any foundation from your earrings because walking around with cloudy earrings from your foundation is just not cute. Alrighty, so next up we're going to be doing some contouring. So I'll be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'll be taking this shade right here to contour my face with. I'm going to start off by working some of that into my jawline. Pretty much just contouring away that double chin. Then also just going to apply some of that to my cheekbones, of course. Carve out those cheekbones, girl and then also to my temples. If you ever find that you went a little bit too hard with the contour, just take your powder brush and kind of brush it on that area into the fix. I'm also just gonna be taking this shade right here from the palette to contour my nose with. And the brush that I like to use to contour my nose with is the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. I don't know why, but something about this brush, it just makes contouring my nose so easy. To add a little brightness to that under eye area, I am going to be taking this banana shade from the palette and just applying that to that area. And then I do also like to go over my nose with that banana shade as well because it does help everything to look a little more blended and not so like intense and harsh. To bronze, I'm just going to be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. You all know that I love the stuff. So as you can see, I'm just packing this on and oh my god guys this stuff smells so good i wish you could smell it it smells like coconut and just ooh, it smells like coconut in the beach and just really tropical and i absolutely love this bronzer because i feel like it gives you a really natural glow so i'm pretty much just applying that over my cheeks and along my hairline and then for blush, I'm just going to be using a really neutral shade because I didn't want anything too intense. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Blush in Exposed. And I'm actually just going to apply this with, as you can see, a stippling brush. I feel like a stippling brush when applying blush gives a really like natural finish. It's not too intense and pigmented on your cheeks, which is definitely what I want like I don't want the blush to be too intense today why is my hair just like doing its own thing stay in line please then of course I'm going to go in with a highlighter you all know that I love this thing I'm pretty sure I'm going to be taking forever young and I'm probably going to be mixing these two glow getter and 143 together and just putting on my face because you can never have too much glow and if you're going to prom you definitely want a glow girl. Do you see it? Do you see what I see? I'm also just gonna put a little bit above the arch of my brows and you'll know that I do my little nose thing because I just love highlighting my nose. I can't help it, I just really like to do it. I also just like to put a little bit in this middle part of my nose, just a teensy bit. And of course, can't forget the Cupid's bow. Whenever I really wanna amp up my highlighter, what I like to do is take some Fix Plus and just spray it on the highlighter. It really does help it melt in the skin better. So I've just zoomed you guys in again. My camera actually cut out midway through what I was doing. So as you can see, I'm just applying shadow to my lower lash line. I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush and I'm applying that Rebel shade along my bottom lash line. What I like to do as well is kind of like drag this up towards that outer corner shadow that's happening on the top lid. And I'm also just gonna really smoke this out because we want it to be intense and smoking. I'm also just going to intensify that a little bit more by taking that activist eyeshadow that I used on the outer corner of my eyes. And I'm taking another pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30 pencil brush. And what I'm gonna do is take a teensy bit on my brush and run this along my lash line again, but I'm keeping this focused more so where the lashes are so i'm not bringing it out as far as i did with that other shade i'm just keeping it much closer to the lash line as you guys can see doing this really does help to define that bottom lash line because we did smoke it out earlier that kind of makes the lash line look a little bit like not there so applying this shade really close to the lash line makes your eye look more defined in my opinion and again like i said with that um first shade i applied to my bottom lash line i kind of like to drag this out towards the wing so it joins up with those shades that we used on the lid 
I'm also just going to line my eyes with some black liner. I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. I love this stuff because it really does stay in the lash line. This stuff stays in place and it totally glides on and is super, super black, which I love. So I'm going to put some, I was about to say I'm going to line. I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lash line because I haven't already done that. And then that'll be the eyes done, guys. Onto the lips now. So I'm firstly going to be lining them with this Inglot lip liner in the shade 854. And then for my actual lip color, I'm gonna be using this one by Inglot as well. This is a super, super nude lipstick shade, as you can see. This one is in the shade number 403. Now you could totally leave that as is, but because it's a super matte lipstick, I do wanna add a little bit of gloss so I'm not uncomfortable. So I'm going to be applying some of the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. I feel like this lip gloss goes with like every single nude lipstick, it's crazy. And then just to add a little bit of something to the lips, I'm going to be using this Jouer Lip Topper. This one is in the shade Skinny Dip and can we just, like look how beautiful that is. So what I'm going to be doing is just applying that to the very center of my lips. So that's pretty much everything done. All that's left to do is set that face in place. Got to have the setting spray on deck. I'm just using the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then that's the finished look. So this is the finished look, you guys. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. And also give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do subscribe so you don't miss a video I post. As always, I will be leaving a full list of all the products I used throughout this video down below in the description box, where you can also find all of my social media accounts. So if you guys want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, or Snappy, you can find all of those details down below. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video video. Stay glowy.